as stated earlier, there has been a lot of hate towards you two being the, the co-hosts of this show. And, um, you know, KSI tweeted at you guys basically saying, what the fuck do they do on the show? They have no personality. The show sucks. Blah, 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 okay, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, I'm going to cut you off right there. Why? Who made KSI the personality police? Like, I just imagine KSI whoa, whoa, sitting whoa, whoa. there. No, 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 no. There's probably about 15 other comments here okay. that would agree. But I'm just saying, imagine KSI sitting there and thinking of something to say, and that's the one thing he picks to say. It's because he wants to be on the show. He wants to be in the seat. <laughs> that's literally what it is. That's what his secret is like. You can get better co-hosts. Hey, Logan, uh, tell Jake, uh, hook it up. I don't think that KSI wants to be on this show at all. Maybe. I think KSI just loves to hate on every single thing that you do, no matter what it is. I would you agree with that. You can have two of the greatest co-hosts ever, ever on your show, and he's going to find something to nah, shit bro, on. But these, but these comments are also agreeing with him, guys. And you know, you know that I have been frustrated with you guys Sexually. and your... Preparation. I know y'all fuck with me. Just say I, it. I, but here's the thing. I believe in you guys. I do. I believe in you guys. And I know that greatness will come out of you. Our greatness will come in me. But it's going to... See, like, that's... No, that's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> that's funny, bro. No, people enjoy that. Just because people hate on that shit, that's because they have funny. no personality. Your it's not greatness, funny at all. That's a compliment to you. It's just not funny. I'm fine. And it's the mom kidding? jokes like that Over that under. people are fucking roasting you for. Let's get right into it. And you too, Dika. Dika, do something. There was an episode where you didn't fucking say a word. You suck. Next comment. I don't suck. Julia, the leech less opportunist thinking of how she can wiggle her way into Tal's life or at least hook up with him if things don't work out with Jake. <laughs> she has to kick rocks. We get it. You have a nice body, but what else? Jake, you deserve better. First I agree. Of all, first of all, I've, been, I've been telling her this whole entire fucking time. You are flirting with the guests on every single episode. And she's like, what? what I don't understand flirting. Like, I understand talking. Bro, to this guy's they name cut. is John Marston. <laughs> fuck him, bro. What the First fuck all, is that? They bro, cut, they, no, no, no. This is my comment. Let me talk. They cut out half the episode. First of all, Tyler doesn't want to hook up with me. His dad wants to hook up with me, but we had to cut all that out. That is true. They, the Miami Heat did make us cut like 90% of that episode, which is why they really didn't say anything. So things are a little bit more complicated than they seem uh, because of like legal complications and things we can and can't put into the episodes. But you guys have been ass. And I will say the Rick Ross episode is definitely better. Uh, we're getting better with each episode. Georgie M, this show could be so much better if they replaced Julia with someone who actually knows sports and culture. Just because she's sleeping with Jake doesn't mean she gets a pass at co-hosting what's supposed to be the world's next biggest show. First of all, we're in training camp, so I can't even sleep with Jake right now. Second of all, I do agree with learning sports <laughs> better. I will say I have been doing my research. I There's been a lot of talk, and I'm just going to say this. Overall, fuck the producers. I'm sorry. Overall, of everyone who's saying, turn wow. up three notches, turn it down three notches, do this, do that, wow. do this. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want from here on out. If you guys don't fucking like it, go talk to Georgie. Th that's what we were I trying like, to tell you to do from no, day no, no, one. No, 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 we're no, trying no. to. First of all, that, we're is trying not, to that is not what you were telling me to do from day get one. You day to one, find a character. Wanted, day one, y'all wanted me to have a soundboard and play fucking sound effects for you guys. Day two, you guys wanted me to actually play the girlfriend who didn't really know sports but is here to kind of watch sports. And day three, you guys are like, oh, you're not a sports analyst? Oh, this is not yeah. what you signed up for. So everyone who has a comment and this pan of... What is this, a crew? Yeah, all this crew. Well, this is their first day, these people, okay, so leave sorry, them out of this. Sorry. But everyone else watching this, yeah, you right there, Brandon <laughs> over there, telling me, turn it up, turn it down, do this, go fuck yourself, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want from here on out. I don't, I don't wanna hear wow. it, I don't wanna hear any of your this comments. This is what we needed. Awesome. This is what we've been trying to get out of you. This is what we've been trying to get out of you. the comments, that's why I don't feel like I even have my feelings hurt, is because everything they're hating on is stuff the producers have told me to do. So let me be me. If I still get hated on, so be it. I can double that. You can suck a fat baby dick. Thank you, D-Cut. At least, you know what, D-Cut? Let's just let's BS with Julia and D-Cut. Literally. Please, zero views. <laughs> Yeah, where's yeah. the good comments? No, if it was BS with Julia and Dika, it would literally be bullshit. And that's why I'd be lit. You want to be bull or you want to be shit? I don't care, honestly. I've been both. <laughs> let's, pull, let's pull up another comment. Can't believe I'm saying this considering I'm a KSI fan, but this show would be great if Jake had less annoying co-hosts. He can't even think of a yeah. name. Yeah, how are we annoying? 
Hey, I have a question. I have a question. So you guys, like, I, I wasn't expecting this reaction from you guys. Do you think that you guys have been killing it? No, set? no, but this thing, I don't think I've been killing it, but I've been so busy listening of everyone telling me what I should be doing, that's why I haven't been killing it. So that's, and, and, and I should do more research before your show. There's two parts. I will take full responsibility of, like, do more research, actually know the sports and everything going into episodes, but I will say, Fuck the whole, do this, do that, but do this, but do this. No, fuck it. I'm not doing anything anyone tells me to do at all at this point moving forward. Um, <laughs> I'm a motherfucking star. Look at the man in my car. Yeah, that's me. But I definitely can get better at everything that I do. Like, even like sex. Like, I'll be beating the pussy up, but like, I still want to be better at it. I know that you guys have what it takes, otherwise I wouldn't have put you on this show in the first place. And I think, you know, we're, we're hating on you guys a lot in all lightheartedness, but I think the people watching just see the potential of this show and they want it to be great. And so they're gonna ride with us on your journey to become unshit. Like Gonzalez on shit. butt muncher? On shit, on shit, on shit, listen. on shit, on shit, on shit. Listen, when I'm this shitty, I count on you guys to be the toilet tissue to clean me up. First, I'm annoying. I don't have a personality. Oh, you, you do actually. Um, yo, can you bring in the gifts? I actually got I got you guys some gifts. I know y'all be having mouse traps. Here. Yeah, no, I got you guys a gift. Wow. A uh, personality. I got this. Did I call it? Yes. Wow. What did I get? It's a two for one special. They're on sale at Target. <laughs> this card is redeemable for one personality on BS with Jake Paul in the US, Puerto Rico, and abroad. This card cannot be redeemed for cash. This person, uh, I don't even wanna read no more, no cash. Why are you guys throwing, the first thing you do is throw away. I got a big personality right here. I think that's what people are saying. I don't care what people are saying. Not just the boots. Yeah, the people that are saying shit are watching this shit, so I love you guys. Please keep saying shit. And I already be taking shots. Uh, so what are you talking about? No, take a shot every time the coach says something, you'll be sober. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> they said the, the I second, say too the much. The second episode, I literally was like, they're like, how do you think that went? And I was like, I, I just feel like I'm alone out there. Can we have a moment of silence for, for me, guys? Thank you. Well, no, apparently we don't say anything, so we shouldn't have a moment of silence. That was the joke, because you guys give me a moment of silence every episode. <laughs> hey, I really wish I had that soundboard. They were going to be the first episode. I would play the laugh track for you. Yeah, like, you really get no giggles. Like, you're not funny. <laughs> if anything, people are laughing for you. Like, ha, 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 I feel bad for you. I feel bad for me, too. Yeah, because your co-host over here going crazy. Nigga, you got the best co-host in the world, nigga. <laughs> Look at the views, bro. They love us, bro. They're specifically they here for us, bro. They could go watch another video of you, bro. They but they're don't. watching BS with Jake Paul because of your co-host. They don't love they're you yet. I think they will eventually. You know. Aren't you the one that told me when we first started dating, don't read the comments of people? Oh, no, but here's the thing is I would have commented the same thing. And that's why after, and I wouldn't have read it. That's why after each episode, I talk to you guys and give you guys a little boost in support and try to coach you guys into being better co-hosts. Yeah. Well, hey, bro. And the comments are green, so it's not just me being a dick. I'm a real ass nigga. Like, I don't do like cameras and shit. So this is new for me. So like, I'm a real ass personality. If you get to know me, like, trust me, you guys are gonna understand me and like, it's gonna be nice. No, I think that's the side of people that they wanna see. I don't think they wanna see you sitting there yelling at them and being like, I'm the best in the whole entire world when they're sitting here flaming you. I think you need some humility. Yeah, I agree. Well, at don't least agree too much though, Decut. Or you're a yes man. You have we're to. Getting I can't agree with him, but I have to not like him. But then I have to like him. You guys are doing great. This is a great. Yeah, if it were easy, uh, everyone would be doing it. That's as far as sports shows, though, I will say, uh, like Decut said, look at the views. Uh, there is like only a couple sports shows out there on YouTube. And I think we're already like in third place as it pertains to views, engagement, and viral clips after only five episodes. So I do want to congratulate us there. There's, there's hope. There's hope out there in the world. For Good this. for hope, man. We love that. We love that.